everybody. It is Angie, Treasured Vintage. I thought I would do another brooch box and have these to show you. Um, hopefully I didn't move any ones that you have already seen over into this box, but if I did, it'll just be a rerun. So, um, yeah, I felt like doing a video. So, here we go. Um, have quite a few in here of different kinds. We'll start with this one. Um, really pretty. Missing some stones, but just so pretty. Um, pot metal, I believe. That's, I just love all the colors. I love colorful jewelry so much. And it's nice that all these stones are present. And really, there's only a few missing. I could probably fix that. And then again, it would probably sell just like it is because it's so pretty. We have a wild cat pin. I guess it's a, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not going to guess. It's a wild cat and it is gold. Looks like gold plated. And these are faux stones in there. Just made to look like there's stones in it, but it's pretty neat. Looks like a typical 80s piece. Have a big modernist pin. Looks older, the clasp does. Clasp looks old. And you could almost say it's an S if you wanted to, but you could also just wear it as a modernist pin like that. Pretty pin. The swirl design in it. Nice mesh texture. Mid-century. I wonder if there was something. No, I guess not. I was going to say something else on there, but I think that's part of this. And then it goes in there and wraps around and fastens right there. This is pretty. It's just that nice matte finish with the, the nice etching in it. I don't know. That looks like diamond cut right there and then this. Not sure what, what would have made that design, but isn't that pretty? I'll show you the back. There's the back and the back's pretty too. Oh, shiny little oval pin. I think this box has quite a few leaf leaf motif pins in it. Do y'all find a lot of leaves or have a lot of leaves? There's a pretty one. It's a pretty maple leaf with lots of texture. Nice on the back too. I guess it means it should be pinned on like that. Another pretty one. Another modernist type. Oh, what's that one signed? That's a Coro. Pretty. Really nice condition. Oh, I love this one. I love this one. What's this one? Um, oh, P-I-M. I'm not sure, but I think that might be the early um, Edwin Pearl. I'm not sure. I have to look. But, um, I like that. 
Very pretty finish on it, and it's really unique. Really pretty. Mm, missing stones, a good many. Nice deco design, though. Hmm, looks like it could have been a clip clipped on this. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I see. It's half of a belt buckle. Well, excuse me. <laughs> I don't have the other half. Some some reason that was in with the pins. It probably should go in the crafts. I think I probably kept it because it was such a pretty shape. Here we have some little twins. Mother and daughter Rose. <laughs> Cute. Plastic's a little jacked up on this one. I wouldn't say it's dirty exactly. It's just, I don't know what. Kind of broken down. The the, uh, the material's a little broken down or something. But aren't they cute? Are they Koro? Kind of look Koro-ish. Not signed, I don't think. Another deco. This one is actually a fur clip. Or a coat clip or something. Um, just those green baguettes make it make it special. I think there's is there stones missing in that? Huh. It I don't know if there's one missing right there. Maybe not. Maybe there's none missing. It's very pretty. Maybe just clean it up a little bit. I don't see anything missing. Huh. Wonder why I haven't tried to sell that. Look at the design on the back. So pretty. Here's an early Coro pin. I, I don't know if I might have showed this before or not, but uh, I have fur clips like this, only I think they're pink with a moon glow pearl in. I hope I'm not losing my light too much. I waited too late to make this video. I was listing things on my Etsy. Oh, there's a... I thought that was a maker's mark, but I think it's just texture. It's a pretty leaf one. Oh, hello, little mousy. Hello, little mousy. You're a cute little thing. You're a cute little thing. So much cuter than a real mouse, I have to say. Ah, <laughs> uh, I think this is Emmons. That's pretty. Once again, you know, the, the finish just makes a piece of jewelry, I think. Yeah, it's Emmons. I don't have many Emmons things. Um, I think I'm going back and forth on whether to keep that or not. There's a sand dollar. Just an interesting spray. Nice 80s type. Just looks like it should go on something with big shoulder pads to me. <laughs> looks like that era of the big shoulder pad chain link wearing 80s era. More leaves. That one's pretty. See all the leaves with all the different textures, I think. And this one, fancy texture in there. Two compartments empty. Oh, more roses. More roses coming up. These two. That one's pretty. Look how nice that is. This one, a little dingier. Not sure what that says. 
Can't really see it. Is it Jerry's? Oops. Oh my goodness. I really can't see it. But it's something that I don't really recognize. Unless it's Jerry's. Which it might be. I think it is Jerry's. G-E-R-R. -R. Oh, yes. This one, look how nice. That's a really nice one. I love the bloom. Oh, no, I guess that's supposed to be like that. Have one of these. And this is uh, Lucite, I guess. I guess it's not amber. I don't know. It could be that amber one. That could be amber. I'm not sure doesn't have any little things in it, so is that Baltic Amber or something? I don't know. I don't know much about Amber. This is cute. Little painted pen. Pretty old. Got some age on it. Another painted pen. Little sailboat. Someone signed it. Um, carnation type pin. Looks like it's kind of bent. I don't know. Maybe it's supposed to be like that. I don't know. But it's cute. A little layered pin. Some pretty enamel on it. Kind of worn out there on the stem. Love the design of it though. Oh, I have three of these type um, gold and silver pins that I just think, oops, I thought I had three. Maybe I only have two. I think the um, design of those with the gold on the outside and the silver texture on the inside is so pretty. I love those. They're riveted on the back there. Not signed. Not signed, but I bet they're made by the same company. I bet you anything. Made by the same company. Ubiquitous. Circle pin. <laughs> That's my word. I'm just going to keep using that word. It's not my word, but it's a word. <laughs> There's another pretty one. Lots of different colors in it. Pot metal again. An old bow pin. Looks really old. This one also looks old. I like this. I like it. Got the riveted back on it. I think maybe it would clean up nice. I think it's dirty. I don't think that's part of the finish. I didn't notice that till I got it under the bright, 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 bright light. Oops, sorry. Trying to flick away a message. <laughs> on the top of my screen. There is a, just a pretty design pin. Celluloid leaf with roses. I think it's celluloid or some kind of vintage plastic. some crazing in it. Cute. I 
I like this one. Wheat. Really nice texture to it. Really different. You don't see stuff like that today. Another pretty one. Maybe I'm too close here. To say Coro. Oh, little bear. Cute little bear missing a stone in there. Hmm. Some smaller type things in here. Let's see what they are. Oh, isn't that pretty? That's a capital. Or Capitol building, I think. In Washington, DC. Cute. 1957. Wow. an old pin. That's pretty neat. This is one of these. I guess it's a keychain. can also be a, a clip. Clip your keys onto something and in, maybe inside your purse or something. Don't know, but it has a cameo on it. It's a nice shape. Real nice shape. Scarab pin. Tiny, pretty, real stone scarabs. I think this is one of the ones from, um, oh, I don't know. I can't think of who it's from, but it's the gold filled ones. And this is another cute pin. Isn't that cute? And this, I think, is also gold filled. I think it says something on here. More little things coming. A handful of little things I'm trying to get out of here. There we go. Simple bar pin. Oh, a mustard seed pendant. A Eiffel Tower. Oh, uh, missing some pink enamel right there. But that's cute. Little birds. Birds. Um, little faux opal. Another little teddy bear. That's a cute one. Little teddy. Oh, I think there's two of these things. These are little birds. Wait, is this a bird? Yeah, this one's an owl. Owl. And, and they're the kind that they're tack pins. I don't have a back for that one. This looks like a dumbbell pin. Ah! Lobster. The little stone in it. Sorry for the jiggling. I'm trying to get a nice, nice picture going here. And another ubiquitous angel. <laughs> you see those little angels all the time, too. They are very prevalent. And you know what? Angels all around us. 
it's a nice reminder that the angels are everywhere looking after us. Um, I love this. I love the mesh. Cute. And then we have a mesh butterfly. A really golden one. This one's more of a, a muted gold. And this one is a sparkly gold. I think my little Desi wants to go out pretty soon. I hear her jumping around, going up and down the steps. But we're almost done, so. This is one of these Coro pins. I'm almost done, girl, okay? One of these Coro door knocker pins. John and Bun's coming soon. They're coming soon. I know it's dumb, but I call my husband Bun. It's short for Honey Bun. <laughs> And they are hunting. He and my brother-in-law, John, are hunting. And they're coming home soon. They're on their way home. That's another reason why I wanted to sneak this video in. I procrastinated. There's another Jerry's. I promise, Desi. Really soon. We're going to be done really soon. XO. XO. Very cute. I thought this was signed. Yeah, it's signed. AJC, I think. Yeah, AJC. Really nice quality pen. Nice heavy pen. What we got left? Not too much here. Got a, another modernist pen. I think that's Trafari. Yeah, that should go in my Trafari box. It's a big one. Um, mm, pretty fish. I think this is really pretty, but I think I went to list this one time and there was several of them, of them on, so I didn't list it. And I don't know. Looks like it could be missing something right there. A stone or something. I don't know what that's for. What's that say? Oh, it just says Trafari. Must have been for that pin. Oh, I love this too. Little feather pin. Definitely vintage. And what do we got here? Made in the USA. Woo! Looks like a disco pin. <laughs> Something you'd wear to the disco on your big padded shoulder item of clothing. Here's something, should have been out for Thanksgiving. That's cute. Oh, Kenneth Cole, KC. Doing why that's not listed, it's a little too late now. Now we're doing the Christmas things. Oh, another pretty pin. Another pretty leaf pin. This one's oak leaves, I think. You see maple leaves a lot. You don't see many oak leaves. That's pretty. And we have a big puffy heart in a bag. A heart in a bag. Nice one. And last but not least is this little gem. Cute. Okay, I think the box is empty. Watch, I'll, I'll lift up this and it won't be empty. Ta-da! <laughs> oh my gosh, it's not quite empty. <laughs> Look at this. Now, I don't know why. Don't know why I want to keep it, but I did. <laughs> cute, huh? Should I list that in my Etsy? It's pretty cute. And we have a missile. U.S. Air Force missile, I think. What are you doing, Desi? What are you doing? What are you eating? Come here. Desi. She's being bad. Are you being bad? Well, I wanted to show all of my souvenir pins. 
know whether people collect these or not, but I've kind of been collecting them and wondering if I should lock them up sometime or sell them uh, separately. But I have a lot of souvenir pins. A lot of these are like from uh, Scandinavian countries like Switzerland. I'm doing, I'm, I'm doing a video and we're going to go out soon, okay? Uh, probably. Uh, I don't know. I don't know where that's, maybe that's Switzerland. That, I do know that's a Edelweiss. That's the flower. And we have this one. Uh, looks like an Oktoberfest one because it has beer, stein, and a pretzel. Probably a German one. Another little, maybe German one. And it's got the little charms on it, the dangle. I have a bracelet that has the enameled um, Niagara Falls. Oh, it's just like a souvenir bracelet with different places on it. Wow, it's all Niagara Falls, excuse me. Okay, I didn't realize I had that. That would probably sell well. Um, Canada. We have EPM N5 plated 90. Um, really cool Holland pin. England. Another one with Edelweiss on it. Little shield. I forget what that's called. And we have a Navy pin. United States Navy. A little bit of everything in these pins. And a France. And this is cool. I love this. Really old... I think this probably was on some kind of metal or something. I'm not sure, but um, that's cool. I like it. And here's another old, old pin that's cool. I really like oldies. Got the C clasp. Yeah, those two are neat. Okay, I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will be back soon, hopefully. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, like and subscribe, and uh, have a blessed weekend, and we'll see you soon. Thanks a lot, everybody. Bye for now.